Okay, it looks like this screen is recording. So now I'm going to go over basically uh, the Northwest Multiple Listing Service. This is our listing service that we use. Um, just like any other multiple listing service, this one is for just this region in Northwest United States. Good for Washington. I think it's parts of Idaho too, but I'm not sure about that. Anyway, I'm just going to kind of go over some of the basic uh, stuff they have here in the Northwest MLS. Uh, by now, you should have kind of watched all the videos that they had uh, presented uh, in here underneath the, where is it at, classes section. So underneath the classes section, you go to my classes, or webinars actually, uh, and you're going to see, you know, a bunch of classes they have. Realness webinars, uh, Authenticine webinars, mobile app webinars, website webinars, uh, and these are basic just short little classes that's going to get you started in the right direction as far as that goes. But I just wanted to go over everything a little more in depth, I guess, and how I use the Northwest MLS before going on to um, more specific things that I use. Just kind of a basic overview of the Northwest MLS. Okay. Uh, so here we're going to go, and uh, up here are these tools take you to a different screen completely. The matrix screen, this is going to be where we research for homes. This is kind of going to be the one that you use the most. Uh, I'll click on that real quick just so you get a view of that screen. Uh, and up here it's going to have search, matrix, roster, and I'll go over these a little bit more in detail uh, in a few minutes. I'm just kind of running you through it real quick. A uh, quick back button will bring us back to, oh, maybe it won't. Um, and then Express Forms. Um, Express Forms, this is going to be the forms library where we're going to find all the tools that we need as far as contracts go. Um, contracts are going to, um, you know, you can go over these more in depth later, uh, exactly. But uh, this is the main one we use for um, inputting sheets when we're going to list a house. Uh, if you go down here, and they're all in kind of strange orders that almost make no sense. They just kind of added them as they went and you know, as they came up with a new law, they added a new form for it because some lawyer said that's what they should do. Um, this Form 21 is the main residential purchase and sale agreement. That's the one we use all the time if we're acting as a buyer's agent. Uh, it's the most common one. And you'll notice right down here, if you have a question about any of these, there's going to be a manual associated with that. So it'll kind of, uh, you know, open up in Adobe um, and then a PDF format, and it'll kind of walk you through exactly how to fill out the form. Um, you're probably not going to use that as much, but it's still good to know. Uh, and then this section here, it'll, you know, you can just click out on financial tools right here. Uh, and here's a couple different tools that we use sometimes, depending. Uh, net proceeds calculator. This is basically, this is a pretty important one. Um, this is kind of going to tell us how much, um, you know, how much the owner's going to make on the sale of their house. Say their selling price is uh, $300,000. But they owe $200,000. Um, calculate cost. So their net proceeds will be $173,000. And that's just a simple, quick, down and dirty uh, way of doing it because they have escrow fees, title policies, yada, 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 all the way through. Uh, there'll be a different section on this where I can actually teach you how to use this one. This is just kind of the quick overview. There's a couple other tools in that one too, but the net proceeds one is basically the one that's used most of the time. Uh, up here is Supra. Supra is basically the tool that we use uh, to get in houses. So um, they're pretty stern on these. They uh, keep good track of them. Um, every house, every realtor is going to be issued a key. Every house is going to have a lockbox on it. In order for us to get in that house, we have to be registered with Supra and have a lockbox to get in that house to show it to our clients if we're showing houses. Uh, this is pretty much just you know, to pay them or to order more equipment if we need it. Um, so we're going to go into Matrix right now. Matrix is, oh, sorry, hold on, let me let me change that back. We're going to stay on the home page. Um, this is your basic home page on here. And I'm going, to, I'm going to read it at least one more time. I've said it enough, but um, never, ever, ever try to log on to the Northwest MLS with through your own home computer. Uh, I can get fined for this. This can only go through one computer, uh, and it has to go through my computer. They're extremely stern on this. It should, this password should not be given out to anyone else. It's just to go through my computer. That is it. Um, okay, and I'll probably say that again five more times just because it's very important. <laughs> but anyway, we're still on this page. We're going to go down to, uh, oh, let's just look on home and see what they have down here. 
Um, these are just basic. I never read these. Uh, every once in a while, they come up with some new rules at the list on here. Uh, just some kind of helpful tools for real estate brokers. I don't think I've read any of them ever, um, so it's not important. <laughs> so, um, okay, we're on five minutes. Uh, so, yeah. Uh, you know, it has office hours, office, their office hours, alerts, like say someone's uh, broken into a home or a realtor's doing something bad, whatever, uh, whatever that word is, um, you know, someone that's died, whatever, I don't know, uh, unimportant. So we're going to go to news and stats and news and stats, the news, it's just going to have, you know, basically what the homepage had, you know, some new rules that come up. Uh, they're going to be listed in here. The Orthos MLS is they're extremely stringent on their rules, so they'll come up with new things from time to time just to uh, more or less keep us on our toes. Um, you know, they'll add like Rule 50A, and there's a new clarification on it. There's a lot of legal mumbo jumbo that goes into being a, a realtor, uh, real estate broker. So they they like to clarify the rules all the time just to make sure that we're you know we're on top of things. Uh, but for the most part, for your purposes, unimportant. Uh, statistics, we're going to go over these kind of uh, real quickly, but there are some important statistics in here, and there are some things that are going to be needed to add to, say, blogs or whatever else. Uh, but so basically, this has all the statistics for the MLS. The MLS lists pretty much every home in this area, um, in Washington, actually. So uh, it has stats. Uh, so let's say we click on King County and look at some of the stats. I don't want to open up a PDF. Anyway. Uh, it'll have the stats, stats meaning uh, the amount of homes sold, what price they sold them for, uh, how long they're on the market, uh, just interesting stuff like this that could be helpful for selling or buying a home. Because you want to know, you know, what's going on in that neighborhood, how much the house is selling for, uh, yada, 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 all the way down the line. Um, then we'll go to press releases real quick. I'm, I don't think I've ever clicked on that button, and so I was kind of curious. <laughs> so um, basically, uh, yeah, we're, we're going to go off that one. Northwest Real Estate Reporter. Um, this is just more basic news. Um, you know, I'm sure they have some training in here that's not really applicable to me or anyone. Um, so anyway, we're going to go to classes. Um, again, and like I said, we went over this a second ago, but classes, uh, you've probably already been through this section. You've probably already been in the webinar section and kind of watched what they had to offer uh, in there. So there are some there are some interesting classes in here, some good ones that make sense. A lot of these are for um, in in house classes, meaning uh, brick and mortar classes. We actually have to go to the to the class to take them, uh, and they're you know the ones you've seen on the webinar are probably not as depth as some of the ones you're getting in class, but you know they do have those. And these are the webinar ones, um, you know. And anything that I ask you to do as far as that goes, I'm going to go over it in great detail. So, you know, I'm not just going to throw you to the wolves and say, oh, you watch a two-minute video, go ahead. Uh, I'm not that kind of person. I wouldn't do that. Uh, support. So this one uh, has a lot of different information. Um, this is mostly for managerial stuff, but you may need to know exactly how to use some of this stuff. Uh, I know this realist one right here actually has some really good um, classes in here for the realist one. Uh, you're going to be using realist quite a bit. Realist basically takes uh, all the public information possible and kind of simplifies it into one form. So you punch in someone's name, it'll show up, and it'll show all the names of those persons in that county. Um, let's see here. Uh, this is actually one you'll be using too, and I'll go over this in greater detail. This is just kind of the overview right now. Um, no reason to, you know, just pay attention to it, but no reason to write anything down or anything like that. Just kind of, you know, know what's out there. Uh, so basically, the creating mail list, this is for, um, you know, Say I have, I'm listing this house right here. These are all houses that are in Realist. And I want to mail something to the, you know, 20 or 30 houses in that area just to let them know their neighbor's house is going for sale. Maybe they know someone that wants to move in the neighborhood, uh, whatever. We can easily make um, a mailing list just using these. Click on all the houses that you'd like. Um, and you can set them up in, um, the Avery is actually a program that uh, does mailing labels. So, you know, you choose whatever Avery one you want. It'll automatically put them in the labels, and then it's easier to, for me to print them out and mail them and send them, and done, done, done. Um, so yeah, that's uh, you know that's one one way to use Realist. Um, Realist square footage field. Um, I'm not going to go over all these right now. There's just too many things. This is a quick 15-minute overview, so we'll get into this more in depth later. Uh, don't worry. Mobile app. I've never used it before. 
I'm sure it's great, but I've never used it and probably never will. Uh, tech support screening, you will never use this. Um, this is basically to, they'll want to see numbers and they'll want my name and everything else. Uh, this is basically just a, a, a chat form with uh, the people that work for the MLS. And we don't want you on there because technically you don't exist because <laughs> you're using my login. <laughs> so anyway, um, we'll go from here. Um, there's just some more. Uh, we're, we're in rules and policies now, and these, uh, more or less, I don't read them. You shouldn't read them. Um, they're nice to know. Uh, I know them, but they change so often. It's uh, one of those things. When you're doing a listing input, you're going to want to make sure that everything's done um, exactly as uh, either I instruct you to or, you know, or, you know, you know how to do it because you they do send out fines. If you put something wrong, like say you write family, uh, you know, you're writing a uh, you're writing a description for a home and you write f a good family home. You know, it seems innocent enough, but that's actually a violation and you can get a $250 fine for that. Um, so um, just not to worry about that. I mean, I will be reviewing everything before it gets sent in. You will know all the rules before you're doing this, but it's just, uh, this is a good spot to, to, to learn about the rules and regulations. And it really only applies to when you're doing, when you're inputting um, information to the LMOS, when you're actually listing a home to sell. Uh, services, we'll go over this one real quick. Um, these are, I don't actually know. I've never clicked on that button before. Uh, these are basically just services that the MLS offers. Um, stuff, they do design and printing, so you know they make some more money like that too. Accounts, uh, pay, paying for stuff, like they sell open house, um, open house signs, they sell key boxes, they sell keys, uh, tech support. Uh, they have order forms for the MLS forms. No one really orders any forms because everything's done online. Um, I don't do anything not online. Everything is sent um, pretty much everything is sent um, by email uh, and signed electronically, so we don't really have to worry about that too much. Uh, but there's an you know, MLS logo if you want to put that on something. Um, this I wouldn't worry about it too much. It's mostly stuff that uh, you will never use. Uh, I'm just in Department of Licensing Information for brokers, managing brokers, designating brokers. Um, just basically just takes you to the Department of Licensing within Washington State. Um, my account, um, probably won't need to do that much either. This is pretty much just an easy way to pay your bills. Um, and you try to make it easy to do that. Um, let's see. I think that's about it for now. I think we pretty much went over everything in the MLS that, uh, I can think of. Um, we're going to go over this, uh, more in depth with the next video. I don't want to load you down with too much stuff here. We're already at 12 minutes. Um, so yeah, next time, uh, next video, we're gonna actually going to be going over the MLS, the Northwest MLS, and what we do to for expired listings and sold listings. Uh, I'm sorry, expired listings and canceled listings. Um, but uh, for now, that's it. Uh, that's just kind of a basic overview of the, the main MLS home screen. Again, I'm just going to remind you that never, ever, ever, um, through your own home computer, go and log in. Always go, I'll have a home computer set up, always go through my home computer and using my login. Uh, if they see an IP address in another part of the world, they're not going to be happy with me. Um, so yeah, I think that's it for now. Um, and uh, until next video, uh, thanks a lot.